I just wanted to show them before I ended up opening them and destroying the packaging. I've got this under eye rolly here. I've got lip gloss, a BB cream, a powder, a glitter eyeshadow, the six color eyeshadow palette, two eyeliners, blush, liquid liner, and mascara. I got this all for $10. Let's see. Yeah, I got some Barbie tissues, don't judge me. So my total was $12.91, but basically if you take off the little solar butterfly and the Barbie tissues, you'll see that I got everything else here for a dollar. Hey y'all, it's me Charity here at Lady Luck Tutorials, and today I'm going to be doing a collab video with my friend Tiffany. I'm going to post her channel down below in the description, and I'm also going to post her video which is going to be just like mine down there as well so you can check that out. This is going to be fun. Today we are doing the dollar store makeup challenge and it is the ten dollar makeup ten dollar makeup dollar store challenge. I said that wrong. I got some pretty cute stuff. The only thing I'm worried about, well there's a few things I'm worried about. One thing I'm worried about is the fact that they did not have a foundation or a concealer. They had like one foundation but it was like tan and y'all know that ain't gonna work with this. And um, the other thing I'm worried about is a powder that I got. I'm scared the color is just not gonna work. So let's get started. I have no clue how I'm gonna do this. Look I'm just gonna start going with the flow and hope that it turns out beautiful. If not that's gonna be my fault. I'm going to show you each product as I go along and use the product. So since they didn't have concealer, I picked up this, which is Skin Nutrition's uh, with green tea extract, vitamin B3 and vitamin C, age defy dark circle and puffiness serum. It's a three-in-one treatment for dark circles, puffiness, fine lines, and wrinkles. I figured, well, if they don't have under eye concealer, maybe this will help me. I'm going to feel really weird doing anything without under eye concealer because that's one of my have to have products. All the products I'm going to be using is makeup products but tools you can use your own. So the next product I'm going to be using is this Beauty Benefit Cream from Sassy and Chic. It is a BB cream, multi-action skincare and makeup. I'm scared about this. Oh, that was another thing I was worried about was the color of this. I got medium one. So it says apply with apply and blend with fingertips. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it's a good color. Oh, medium is very light. Perfect. Oh, hopefully. Oh no. What is this? Oh my god. It's a fail. Oh well. Maybe if I just blend it in. And look better. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I've done killed the whole tutorial. <gasps> oh wow. Alright, that would have been perfect for the under eye circles since you are supposed to go a shade lighter. A few shades lighter than your skin. Oh my god. What have I done? I look like memoirs of a geisha. Alright, let's just... Mm. Well, I did buy a powder, and hopefully that powder is way too dark, and it's going to, like, cover this up. I feel kind of silly right now, and I was worried about it being too dark, ladies. Yeah, I'm going to go in with this powder. We've got the LA Colors Pressed Powder, and it is in the shade Nude. So let's see how that's going to work out. Right, so I'm going to go in with a brush here, and hopefully, hopefully this is going to even out my skin. Oh, that works. Yeah, that's good. It kind of darkens it a little. No, I think I have too much light going on here. Mm. Wow. I'm super white. Oh, hey, this is actually a nice powder. It feels nice. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm going to go in with this LA Colors 6 color eyeshadow palette in almost nude. And I'm going to work with this first before I add on that glitter stuff girl. We have these shades here. I ain't gonna swatch them. I really just wanted to pick a light color to just kind of 
start off on my eye. Oh, okay, that doesn't show up too well, but it's a start. Um, moving on, I'm going to be using that again in a second, but I'm going to go in with this gorgeous color icon. Uh, oh, it's in the color brass. This is what it looks like. I wonder if it's a powder or a ooh, creamy color. Oh, I hope it do not flake all over me. Oh, it's creamy. This is so fun. Girl, let's zoom in on this eye. Okay. Um, it's beautiful. Go ahead and apply that all over my lid here. I'm just patting it on with my finger. I'm going to go in with the darkest shade here, this one, and I'm going to pat that into my crease. Oh, that showed up better than the light shade, so that's good. Alright, I'm just going to apply that there, and then I'm going to go in with a blending brush, just to kind of smooth that out a little. next thing I have here is, well, I got three different eyeliners here. I got this liquid liner, which looks pretty cool. It's got a little mirror on it. And then I got these Wet n Wild uh, two pencils. One's like a purplish blue and then one's liquid. I think I'm going to use the lick. <laughs> I mean black, girl. Okay. I think I'm going to try this liquid out. This is Color Mates Paraben Free Black Eyeliner. The mirror and it's supposedly waterproof. Let's see how well this applies. Cutesy. Right. Oh, it's got a little tiny felt tip brush. Uh-huh. Not bad, not bad. I like that. <sighs> this eyeliner's not that bad. It's actually pretty cool. so far but I would like to create a wing but I'm gonna wait a little bit and do that I'm gonna go back in with this eyeshadow I'm gonna use maybe this lighter shade here and just kind of soften that a little alrighty now we're gonna take the black wet and wild liner and Now I'm actually going to take the sponge that came with the little LA Colors palette and I'm going to smudge that out. Oh snap, it actually started wiping it off. Oh my god, I got glitter fallout right there. Where did that come from? No! I don't want to be glitter fallout. Hmm. Okay, so forget the little sponge. Normally I like little sponges, but that one I don't. How the heck did I get that glitter eyeliner in my under eye? And there's no way I'm going back in with that BB cream to fix it neither. Mm -mm. Now that I've lined that, what did my pop? Oh. oh my god, I am so sad. This is not black, it is brown. Oh well, you know I was thinking it looks kind of brown when I was putting it on, but I was like, I may ignore that. Alright. There. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and create my cat eye. Now I'm going to go in with this mascara. This is the LA Colors Bold Lumps Lashes. Oh, this is just so cute. That's why I got it, because it was so cute. But let's see if it plumps my lashes up. <laughs> La -dee -da -dee -da. Okay, I'm not seeing much action going on here. No offense, LA Colors, but I don't like this mascara. This mascara might be good for someone else, but it's just not for me right now. I actually want to go back in with the gold color and kind of smudge it under here. 
smoke it out a little. Give it some extra oomph. Okay. Uh oh. I'm really excited to try this blush because I love blush and it was just so pretty. This is the LA Color Sweet Cheeks blush. Mm-hmm. Ooh, girl, that pretty. I love this blush. Wow, it's extremely pigmented. Extreme. Now we've come to the end of the tutorial because now I'm going to put on my lip gloss. This is Paradise Pink from LA Colors. Do you mind if I put a little lip erase? Well, I guess I'll swatch it on my hand so you can see what it looks like on my skin. But I wanted to see if the color was actually going to show up. So, oh wow, that is beautiful. It smells so good. Oh my god. This is so cute.